Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar continues to impress as the bullish pattern extends on since breaking the 60-day simple moving average and now has the level in sight around 68 cents as its rival, the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, tumbles further from 102.40 to 101.80. With limited data this week, current momentum may persist, showing impressive recovery from earlier month losses as the US economic concerns ease. However, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell could disrupt this trend as investors focus on the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium this week on Friday and on Saturday. With the upside expectations seen towards 67.45 to 68 cents, the market is expected to be limited with any pullback, with the sport seen at 66.70.80. Turning to the euro dollar, it began very strong at the start of the week and the market is expected to push on higher as the dollar index drops to 101.80. As mentioned, limited data this week will keep all eyes on the US Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's Friday speech at the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium. Before then, still keep an eye out on the July FOMC minutes that will be released on Wednesday, with expectations of a September rate cut ranging from 25 to 50 basis points. This will be the first cut since the Fed began raising interest rates in early 2022. The main question though is whether the economic needs easing or a deeper cut, especially after the weak US hiring report raised concerns about rates being too high for too long. And with the top side call now very close at 111.15.45, traders should closely monitor signals and adjust risk management strategies for potential pullbacks, as the challenge near that level could see profit taking and therefore could look for a pullback to around 110 figure 20. Having rejected the top side trend line, that was a key point seen from the weeklies. We can see now further bearishness has emerged with the second day holding heavily to the downside. With the outlook expecting to see a move towards 145.80, could actually see a further drop towards this region, which is the recent call at 142. Any upside attempts should be limited. Turning to the British pound, the market still displays a stellar performance and now looks towards its key level seen at 130. It may extend on to the broader call at 131, with any pullback likely to be limited with the support seen at 128.8085. Turning to the commodities, the spot gold's challenge towards the top side still holds around 2,500 and still potentially much talk of a further rally that could see a rise on to $3,000 as a target. With the pullback though, likely to see a little bit of profit taking given the fact that the RSI has buckled, may see support around 2486 to 89 But overall, if this pattern holds, then as mentioned, we could see a further rally with the immediate target around 2520 to 25 and then on with the broader call, as I mentioned, around $3,000 an ounce. Turning to oil, the market's plummeted further after taking out the support level at 74.80 and now exposes a region of 71 or even the base that's seen around 68.70 to 69.40. As the decline deepens, any upside attempt would need to clear the level around 74.20.40 to reinstate the upside back to 76 to $78 a barrel. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest report. I hope you enjoyed a great start to the day. 